Often, videos posted to YouTube and similar sites contain copyrighted material that falls under the doctrine of fair use. The 2015 case of Lens v. Universal Music Corporation examines the requirements of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act that copyright owners must follow when issuing takedown notices for online content like YouTube videos. In 2007, Stephanie Lenz uploaded a video to YouTube of her two young children dancing in the kitchen to the Prince song, Let's Go Crazy. The video was 29 seconds long, and four seconds into the video, Lenz asked her 13-month-old son if he liked the music. He bobbed his head yes. The video was titled, Let's Go Crazy No. 1. At this time, Universal Music Corporation was the publishing administrator responsible for enforcing Prince's copyrights. An assistant in Universal's legal department was assigned to monitor YouTube daily and review videos that included Prince compositions. Universal's guidelines were to evaluate whether YouTube videos embodied a Prince composition by making a significant use of the song, especially if the song was recognizable, was in a significant portion of the video, or was the video's focus. If so, Universal would notify YouTube that the video should be removed. Universal found the video posted by Lens and concluded that Let's Go Crazy was the video's focus. Universal sent YouTube a takedown notice, including this video and more than 200 others, which included a good-faith belief statement that the videos were unauthorized by the copyright owner, its agent, or the law. YouTube removed the video and sent Lens a notification email. Lens sent a counter-notification to YouTube pursuant to the Copyright Act, which YouTube provided to Universal. Universal protested the video's reinstatement. Lens obtained a lawyer and sent a second counter-notification. YouTube reinstated the video. Lens sued Universal, alleging Universal misrepresented in their takedown notice that her video was an infringement of Prince's song. Universal moved to dismiss the action. The motion was denied. Universal put forward six affirmative defenses, which Lenz moved for partial summary judgment on, and the court granted. Lenz and Universal both moved for summary judgment. The court denied both motions and certified the order for interlocutory appeal. The Ninth Circuit granted the appeal.